Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Timmons. Today I'll be speaking to you about protein and blood in, in the urine. The kidneys are comprised of thousands and thousands of tiny filter units. These filter units are comprised of a small blood vessel called a glomerulus. It has a special name, it's one cell thick. There's an inflow and an outflow and the glomerulus, the single vessel, branches in the middle to form a network of branches. On top of this is an actual physical mechanical filter. Blood comes in one side and goes out the other. There's a pressure gradient created in the middle which physically pushes the liquid part of our blood through the holes in the blood vessel, through the filter, into a series of tiny um, tubes called the tubules. That liquid um, is modified by the tubule cells. They hang on to what we need and get rid of what we don't need. And that liquid ultimately becomes our urine. We don't usually see much protein or blood cells in the urine because the holes in the tiny glomerulus vessel and the filter are so small that they exclude these larger molecular elements. When we investigate blood or protein in the urine, we first determine whether that blood or protein is coming from the kidney filters or from elsewhere in the body. When we determine that the blood or protein is coming from the filter system or glomerulus in the body, further studies then guide our investigation and treatment. I'm Dr. Katherine Timmons, Renal Specialist of Houston. Let me help you fight your kidney disease.